Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for Coffee and Card at Home. Um, and this week we are on our final week um, of using the Jar of Flowers stamp set and punch. So the last few weeks we've been um, using the set, um, which obviously is called Jar of Flowers and there's lots of different types of flowers on there that you can use. But I wanted to be able to show everyone today how you could do something completely different. So this really uses the jar side of things and also to create our straws we're actually using this piece i'm not entirely sure what this has been put in to be in the set actually but it's straight away looked like a straw stripy straw to me so um i thought why not let's go for it so i'm going to show you how to create the card it's quite a straightforward one it does take a little bit of time to get all the elements together but it's quite easy to do and lots of the ladies this morning said they thought it'd be a great card for sort of a child especially a teenager something like that so i'm just going to pop those to the side so i've got a mint macaron card base c6 size so that's half an a4 sheet of cardstock cut in half at 14.8 centimeters and then we've scored it at 10 and a half centimeters and actually we're not going to do anything with that for a minute i just wanted to get that done and pop that out of the way and then I'm just using a piece of um, basic white for me to do my stamping onto. So I've got my jars that I need to get stamped first and I'm just going to use black memento ink. And I'm using the jar outline. So I'm just going to stamp three of those. I'm going to stamp them at the bottom of my card because then they'll fit into my punch nice and easily. Okay. Oh, that one was a little bit close to the bottom, so I might just do that one again, actually. Just went a bit off the edge with my stamping. So let's go with that one there just in case it doesn't punch out so long. You could of course do more or less jars if you wanted to. So before I um, cut those out, I'm going to colour them in. So what we need to do, if we just look at the original, is we need to put some liquid in there. So these are obviously all different types of um, fizzy drinks. Or one of those morning said could be cocktails. Um, so we're just going to um, colour in. I've used my blends for that. Um, so I have chosen three different colours. I've got cherry cobbler. I've gone for the light version of those. Um, granny apple green. And I've gone for the dark one. And... Daffodil Delight, I've chosen the dark one. So we're just going to draw a line wherever you want your amount of liquid to be. And then we're going to get that coloured in with the blends. You could use your thicker end if you want to speed up a bit actually. you might not want to have quite so much of that on and then I'm going to use my yellow I know my thick one is not brilliant on that one so I'll just do this one here I think I might put a little less Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that is that done. So let's get those punched out now with the jar punch. So I'm just going to pop that in. Just grip it by squeezing gently until you're happy with the positioning. Always wiggle it around a little bit if you're not entirely happy with that. And then the last one to go for this one. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring back our piece of um card for our card base when you get these stuck on um, and I'm just going to stick them on with Tombow you could raise them up if you wanted to um, but I just decided to go with them all all being flat so just a little bit of Tombow on the back there and then I'm going to put my first one in place in the middle so that it just gives me an idea of how I need to space the ones either side. I'm going to pop that one on that side, try and make sure obviously they're level. And then they've got equal spacing between them. So whilst we've got that there, we're going to stamp our sentiment. I decided to go with happy birthday. And because there are no sentiments in this set, I've used the sweet ice cream and used the happy birthday from there. So I'm just going to stamp that in the black again. But you could do it in any of the colours you've just chosen. Or you could go for a completely different colour if you want to. Just going to line it up on my grid paper to try and help me get it straight. I'm just going to stamp that quite near to the top and in the centre. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to get these bubbles on. So what we're going to do is we're going to use corresponding ink, but this time I've got the ink pads. Um, and again, I'm using sweet ice cream. I'm just using the um, kind of splatter effect there just to create the bubbles that are coming out of the, um, the jars. So, side. I'm going to start with my red one. I'm going to stamp one directly onto the drink so it looks like it's got bubbles in it. And I'm going to do another one. And then keep going to make them lighter, to make it look like it's coming out of the jar. So then I'm going to switch to my next colour, which is my daffodil light. So I'm going to go with stamping over the drink and then full strength. Second generation, third generation. You can't really see the yellow very much as it goes on to the mint back on, but the idea is there. Just see it faintly. And then finally, my granny apple green. So stamp it onto my drink and ink up again. And first generation, second generation, third generation. And just go a slightly offset. As I go up there, okay. Now, the next thing is we're going to create that straw. So, I'm going to bring back my piece of white cardstock because I'm going to use this, and I'm using that diagonal stripy piece. Um, 
and I want to stamp three different colours. So I'm going to have one stamped in the green. I'm going to sit it quite near to the top so that it saves me a bit of cutting out. Then I'm going to do another one. Actually, I'm just going to see how that fits in relation to them. I might do them that way around. Yeah, because obviously I had to do that jar there. So it's just slightly got in my in my way for doing that. So I'm going to turn this around, just make it a bit easier for myself. And I'm going to stamp that one. Right, that's the edge. So again, it saves me a bit of cutting out on the other side. And then finally, the red. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut those out. Now it's up to you how you want to cut them. You could use um, your paper trimmer or you might just feel happier cutting out with scissors. Entirely up to you. So I don't mind too much cutting out with scissors. So I'm just going to go for that and follow the line. And then I'm going to do the same and cut out the yellow strip. And then the red. But like I say, if you find that you're not so neat at cutting out with scissors, you can always do it with um, a paper trimmer if you find that easier. So I'm just going to snip off that white end. That's my yellow one. And then my red one. And there's my green one. I've got my three three straws ready. So I'm going to bring my card back and I want to try and make sure that each shrink has a different colour straw so that it stands out. So that's the order I'm going to go in. And then these two on either side because of the placement of the sentiment they're fine to be left at length if you want to. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of um, Tombow, literally just tiny dots along there. And I'm just going to put it on the diagonal. Just to hold that in place for a second or two. And same with my red one. Just a few little dabs of Tombow. And then the yellow one that's going to go in the middle is going to need to be a bit shorter because of my sentiment. So I just need to take about that much off of the end. It's kind of a couple of centimetres really. And same again, just a few dabs of Tombow in there. And then just stick that down. 
Okay, so they look quite convincing as straws. However, if you look at them, it does look a bit like the straws are just in front of the jars. So what we need to do is we need to draw in some of these lines for the jars and also colour in the straws where the liquid would be. So first of all, I'm just going to get a black fine marker. And I'm just going to draw my lines going across. So then it actually starts to make it look like the straw is inside the jar, not on the outside. And then save on this one. So that straight away starts to look better and makes them look like they are inside the jar now. But then what we're going to do is we're going to take the colour of the liquid and using our fine end of our blend, we are just going to colour in the lines between the stamped part just to make it look like that straw is actually in the liquid. There's the green one done. I'm going to take the red. There we go. And then finally the yellow. Which is not quite so much to do on that one. But I think you'll probably agree that now that we've done that, it just does make it look like the straws are in the jars rather than being in front of them. So that is everything complete. The only thing you could do if you wanted to do is maybe add a little bit of Wink of Stella on the jars just to make them a bit shimmery. You could always put a few... Um, gems on things like that but I think I'm quite happy with those as they are so a nice quick card using the jar of flowers in a slightly different way and um, hopefully like say good for a card for a child or a teenager or maybe even a male card um, but just something a little bit different to the last three weeks of flowers that we've done so just a quick reminder of everything we've used so our card base was mint macaron in C6 size card base. Then we used basic white to do our stamping um, and we used memento black ink for our stamping, for our outlines and the sentiment. We coloured in with the stamping blends in dark granny apple green, light cherry cobbler and um, dark daffodil delight. And then we use coordinating inks with those as well, just to create our um, bubbles. So I used Real Red rather than Cherry Cobbler, but Real Red, Daffodil Delight and Granny Apple Green. And then just so that we um, had another stamp set to use for a few of the things, I used Sweet Ice Cream and I used the Happy Birthday for that sentiment and then the splatters for the bubbles. And of course, the set that we've been using for the past four weeks is the jar of flowers with the jar punch. So that is our bundle that comes together. Um, and of course, bundles have 10% off of them when you buy those together. So I hope you've enjoyed that and it's giving you an alternative um, way of using that sweet. Um, and next week we will be having a week off because it's Bank Holiday Monday. Then I'll be back the week after when we'll be starting um, a new um, month of Coffee and Card. Um, and we'll be using the, remember what it is now, the Stars Are Shining set with the um, little star um, punch. So that will be for September we'll be getting some Christmas cards started.
So thanks for joining me. I will see you in a couple of weeks' time. Oh, thank you, Jenny. That's really kind of you. So just was really keen to do something different to the flowers. So uh, I think it worked quite well as an alternative. So, so I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time when we'll be back with September's month of coffee and card. Thank you. Bye.